first members began collecting things. He would ask people whose person had passed away if we could have that for our museum. And uh, he was a real recruiter and it and eventually got very, very small. So when our public library decided to move to a brand new facility, that building uh, became available to the public. Now, do you have like regular hours? And I would imagine you probably have a pretty active membership. We have a lot of older members. So active is mostly between our board members. We have uh, 15 board members, counting Pat and myself. And um, we have two buildings now. We were given the old Annan grist mill, which is right on Rock Creek on Highway 30. People know that building across the country because they've driven by it. So we maintain two buildings and um, we put on some programs in the summer and into the fall. And Pat and I are on the program committee. So one of the things she's been wanting to do for two to three years is to have a program to honor mm. Arnie Beswick because she would say, he's a legend. <laughs> he know? is a legend, no doubt about that. And Pat. that's true. Yeah, I just want to interject that when my husband and I started to date back in the 60s, uh, one of the things that we did at least two or three times was go to Cordova and we would watch Arnie fly down the quarter mile strip. And at that time, he was just beginning to become well known. And he was starting to go outside the area, but Cordova is really where he launched. And I do mean he launched yeah. because he broke the nine second quarter mile record, then he broke the eight second quarter mile record, and he's just been, you know, doing it since then. Well, as I was telling you, growing up listening to WLS out of Chicago, you yeah. could hear the commercials and they always mention Arnie the farmer Beswick. So he actually does farm. Oh yes, he still does farm. His land is leased now, but he lives on the farm. He's very involved in farming. I believe he still has farm equipment and animals that he uh, has there too. So that's really how he began. Okay. He was doing it on the side, and then it just kind of, you know, grew yeah. and grew. Grew and grew, no doubt about that. Again, the program's going to be this Saturday at 1.30 at the Ebenezer Reformed Church, 309 East Park Street in Morrison. So, Stephanie, how did this all come about, and what's all going to be taking place? Well, the initiative, of course, was Pat's. She's been talking about this for a long time. And because she helps on the program committee, we were the right ones to say, well, let's just make this happen. And we kept saying, mm -hmm. he's 93, he's 93. We got to do this, you know. Uh, it's about time. Well, then he turned 94 this year. So mm -hmm. we just kind of, in the last couple months, we just went like Arnie, <laughs> you know, down the, the raceway and yeah. planned it. And one thing that we did in October was we featured a program with one of his best friends who travels with him, uh, helps at the sales table and unloading the cars and whatnot. His name is Chad Starbuck. Fulton. He's from Fulton. And he will be uh, on the program agenda, along with uh, a, a daughter, Michelle Beswick. She will be speaking and paying a tribute to her father. And also Billy Stormer, who has been with Arnie and knew him from eight years old. So he's probably one of Arnie's oldest friends knows all about his career and his legendary status and all the, the Hall of Fames that he's in. I think he's in at least three Hall of Fames. And you're saying he's doing well, health-wise? Pretty well, okay. yes. He's, had, he's 94 years old, so as you might imagine, he's moving a little bit slower, but remarkably in good health yet and very alert. And he will talk until the cows come home <laughs> and i would imagine he's uh, got some great stories of course oh started in the midwest but you say coast to coast you raced in florida and in california mm -hmm. right yeah mm -hmm. yeah so he's got some great stories to he's tell. raced at daytona and uh, won some competitions down there indianapolis um i can't name all the raceways he raced <laughs> richard petty during uh, 1965 i believe when nascar put a stop to some of the racing. Um, I'm not sure of all the details, so I don't want to get wrong about what I say, but Richard Petty approached Arnie and said, 
I'm bored because I can't compete. Let's hit the drag strip, you and me. So they would do competitions around the country. And you were saying he was integral in the beginning of the National Hot Rod Association. Yes, he was, very much so. Okay, and he's got, his car's going to be there? We hope there will be two. Okay. We hope it won't rain. Um, and uh, we're asking everyone to come. The doors open at 1. They should come a little early because the cars are going to be out back in okay. the parking lot, and they can have a moment to look at those and talk to Arnie. And um, th then we'll come inside and have a sit-down, formal, kind of a friendly chat. Will there be cake? Um, we have <laughs> bars, cookies, and brownies. Okay, well, you know, I go to things that there's cake. There's well, always cake there. Do you have a presence on social media, the Morrison Historical Society? Yes, we have a Facebook page called okay. Facebook Morrison Historical Society. So they can go to the Facebook page, yes. get a lot more information on mm -hmm. this. But again, mm -hmm. coming up this Saturday at the Ebenezer Reformed Church, 309 East Park Street in Morrison. I want to thank you both for coming in today. I hope things go well. And I thought we'd play this little song by the Beach Boys, Little Deuce Coop. Little Deuce Coop.